Hey guys, it's me. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the All Stars Aurelien Colan, which I believe is how you pronounce his name. You can see his uncut stats up on the screen at the moment, and his average price on the Xbox is about 65k, and his average price on the PS3 is about 50k. And I suppose the first thing you'll notice when you compare this guy to other MLS defenders is he's not the fastest, considering the MLS for some reason has a load of quick centre backs such as Opara, Olav, Win. And the inform Akugo, but I think for the vast majority of players, 70 pace is enough for them, especially on a silver centre back. So I'll move on to his in game stats, and you can see some pretty poor skill attributes, but most of them don't matter. He's got 86 heading accuracy, 76 marking, 6 foot 2 low and medium work rate, 3 star weak foot 2 star skill moves, 72 acceleration, only 48 agility, which can be a hindrance, 91 jumping, 76 reaction, 72 sprint speed, 90 strength, as well as 96 aggression and 78 interceptions. So some pretty good stats there for a silver centre back. And of course as always I'll move on to the clips of him playing and I should put in some real life clips as well if possible. And this guy is a, an extremely solid centre back. Again when you play him in an MLS team he may seem a little bit slow compared to some of the other centre back options but overall he's not a particularly slow centre back at all. And his defending and heading are both excellent. He does win quite a lot of headers and makes a fair amount of tackles as well. And to be honest there's not really too much more to say about him. Just the old excellent defender. The main thing I would point out about him would definitely be his price tag at 65k, it's quite steep. And to be honest, when you look at the stats, I don't think the stat upgrade from his first informer really justifies a 45k extra price tag. He's got one more pace, five more defending, which is quite good, and only one more heading, so really, I would not say that if you're on a budget, I would not really recommend getting the Team of the Year or All-Stars version, I would probably recommend getting the Inform version instead. And again, even though this guy is a solid, solid centre-back, I do think that he's quite overpriced and that there are good options in both his nationality and league, because the MLS obviously has some good alternatives such as the informed Deligarza and Olaf, as well as, of course, the first informed Talan. And I think they're all definitely better value for money options. And then if you're looking at French centre-backs, obviously you have Mangala, you have Lotier, and you have De Mayo, and to be honest, they're all really better value for money options than the All-Star Talon. So those alternatives did affect my verdict in the end. And again, it's not that there's anything bad about this guy inherently, it's just that his price tag I feel is quite high. And he does seem to have a low card weight, which is probably why his price tag is, in my opinion, a good bit higher than it should be when you consider the alternative center backs you have. So I'll move on to the verdict, and I'm going to give this guy an 8.5 out of 10, because he is... A very very good center back but I do feel that he's overpriced and that there are better options if you're looking for value for money but if you're looking for the best silver either French center back or MLS center back then this guy is definitely there or thereabouts probably in the top two in both and his agility is just a little bit awkward when you're trying to track players runs and turn and stuff like that but this guy's a very good option for an MLS team and yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this review if you have please leave it a like suggest a player for the next review in the comments and I'll talk to you all next time